All right. The 3.2 balance manifesto, monster and mods and arch nemesis. In our upcoming 3.20 expansion, Arch Nemesis will be replaced with a system that is more similar to the way Monster Mods worked in the past. This is uh, that players often had uh, with Arch Nemesis were the keyworded mod names were not fully descriptive as to what they did. True, yep, Smith that's true. Brain, huh? No, shut the fuck up. Alright, the mods often had multiple effects bundled, which made them harder to understand. Due to how many effects are included in a single mod, it made it too many encounters, uh, as too many encounters too complex. Uh, and it was definitely, like, on Katara and shit, it was complete fucked. The way our Nemesis was set up meant that players felt that like they couldn't just kill a monster, they had to consider if they wanted to bring a magic fine character into maximize rewards. Yep. That's true. The goals of the new system are, mods do one specific thing. Oh, so wait, a single giga mod? Mods say what they do rather than having a thematic name, you must learn to remember. Encounters are simplified on average while retaining interesting fights. Okay, okay, okay. Players are no longer required to do any annoying actions to maximize rewards. Hey! Oh, are the magic fun cucks about to rage out? Are they about to rage the fuck out? I would that be hilarious, dude. Fuck magic fine. Fuck magic fine cooks. Fuck that shit. Let's examine these goals individually. Must do a one specific thing. Here's an example. Okay, this is way too intense for what I'm trying to do here. MF Cucks BTFO. Shit. Okay. Mods. Okay, mods do one specific thing. The Magma Barrier Arch Nemesis mod did a whole lot of stuff. It started by putting a Magma Barrier around the uh, monster, but it didn't stop there. It converted some of the monster's physical damage to fire damage, and added some extra fire damage on top. It granted fire resistance to the monster, and gave it some physical damage reduction for a good measure. It also spawned volatile flame bloods to follow you. Uh, the new equivalent modifier just puts a Magma Barrier on the monster, and that does nothing else. Okay! Maybe I literally killed my character last league, so, uh, cool. Okay. Mods say what they do rather than having a thematic name. You must learn to remember. For example, rather than incendiary... Oh my god, dude. Get forward, nerd. Rather than incendiary, which broke down in six properties, you now see monster. Uh, uh, now you see monsters with either ignites or fire damage, like fire, ig fire and ignite resistant. Instead of dead eye, uh, which is fire separate things, you now see applies a random mark, extra crits, or accurate as a separate unrelated mods. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Encounters a simple fight on an average uh, while returning interesting fights. Bullet mods uh, that involve complex interaction like spawning volatiles. <laughs> Bullet mods that involve complex interaction like spawning volatiles or ground grenades have been heavily diluted by the presence of the simpler mods. This means that you encounter more complex fights less frequently. But interesting and challenging emergent behavior from overlapping mods can still happen. Just left off them. Okay, okay. Alright, okay. Does that mean that mobs are gonna get back to getting one shot instantly or something? Or are they gonna do a global buff to eight, uh, like HP or something? We don't get it. Because wait, all these things made mobs like you would like cleave and destroy everything, and you would get a mob that was like tank. Yes, fuck to compared to you, but now it's gonna be. I guess you still get physical resistant mobs, all right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds like the game's gonna be a whole lot easier, so they're gonna have to add a lot of difficulty, and otherwise, or they're gonna have to nerf the players a little bit. But you know, they're not gonna nerf the players after the last leak. You know, then it's gonna be like, ah, fuck it. Let's just do a fucking patch where we just buff shit. <laughs> like, to, this next league coming up, chat is gonna be melee league. Let me tell you, it's gonna be the melee league. Nice. Players are no longer required to do annoying actions to maximize rewards. And Arch Nemesis rewards were associated with individual mods. This meant that you could tell uh, what kind of rewards you would get in advance. 
In some cases, you were uh, then effectively required to fetch a magic find, killing character to make sure you would maximize the value of the monster mod that you had found. In other cases, you would ignore a monster completely if you knew that it would only... Oh, 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 oh. It would only drop rewards that were of no value to you. And then use them with a added significant pool of new rewards to raise. The reward that is on the monster is hidden and not associated with a specific mod. Huh. So you don't know what kind of rewards you'll get until you kill the monster. Very monsters with more mods are more likely to have these special hidden rewards. Use this to remember that smooths out the sparkiness that items just this rewards or something like that. I can see this triggering people. They just hit their MF all the time, yeah. So now you're just gonna log out every time you get a guy with like loads of shit. Now there's a chance to get rewards instead of a guaranteed chance to get rewards. Ah, oh, oh, oh. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't like MF cut shit. So depending on how random it is, then okay. As long as they make the hidden rewards pretty common and then they spread them out massively, right? To like the kind of slightly juice mobs. Hmm. Don't even flash. Okay. Conclusion. The very few mods that to building out changes to mods. The, the previous monsters mods were simple. Was very early. Many of the mods didn't have any uh, appreciable effect under modern balance. There wasn't a lot of interesting gameplay possible. In my opinion, our team just did succeed in adding a lot of new interesting mechanics to Briars. The reduced problems is described above. While creating uh, new monster mods described in this article, we were careful to retain most of the interesting mechanics that Arch Nemesis introduced. But in a way that doesn't uh, include a grab bag of other effects, and was diluted by other simpler mods. Mmm. The result is a system that is very similar to what mods, monster mods used to be like, but with much more up to date content and balance. Well, I don't think it's very I don't necessarily think they've, they've quote unquote walked back. If, if there's still mobs that have like hardcore fist reduction and hardcore L fire reduction, and hardcore, you know, you're still gonna encounter mobs that are tanky as fuck. And then they could have some shit that makes them do some extra shit, alright? They could be tanky to physical attacks and then have magma barrier, right? Maybe? They're they gonna say that it's gonna be single mobs. Maybe it doesn't, maybe you'll never have that. I don't know. Maybe you can't have, because it did say, it said at the top here, what did it say? The new equivalent modifier just puts Magma Bear on the monster and nothing else. Okay, so it's saying, yeah, no. So you can still get mo monsters with stacking mods. So you can still have a Bone Breaker Magma Barrier guy. It would just be, it would just say, Magma Barrier, and then it would say, first damage reduction, increased stun threshold, reduced stun, you know, it would say, it's, you know, some shit like that. So you can still get a tanky mob that, that does some fucking shit. So it's not like they deleted it. So you get saying, They walked back! <laughs> uh, you need to shut the fuck up. The result of the system is very similar to what it used to be like, but with much more up-to-date content and balance. Mods are simpler and say exactly what they do. While you can certainly still really encounter a scary combination of mods that really wake you up, it's a lot rarer than uh, under the Arch Nemesis system. We feel that the new system is more modern and interesting the old monster mod Nemesis system. And it's uh, clearer and easier to understand in the heat of combat than Arch Nemesis was for the heat of combat. Like the heat of like one shutting the entire screen. So it sounds like, again, they're making the game easier a little bit. But they're making it easier to understand. So I, you know what? I don't really care. This change to me is I, I wasn't really too upset about the Arch Nemesis mods. Then we're wrong, there was a couple that were annoying, like, but they did patch those ones. I just didn't like the ones, the mobs that were like virtually invulnerable. Those were the stupid ones. The ones, the ones where the mobs, the, I, that was the only Arch Nemesis shit that triggered the fuck out of me, dude. Is where a mob just did not take damage and just lived forever. I fucking hated that shit. Yeah, like when they could stack up fizz reduction to like 90 or some shit, you know? Didn't expect that level of version, but okay, game saved. You can finally pay for you again. I'm retiring, I'm quitting, I'm still let's, let's, let's go. I, I think you guys have missed it. You can still have mobs which have, so you're gonna encounter the totally fuck mobs less often. But you can still have a totally fucked mob, right? I mean, he's joking, right? But it's still... He, it, it's, it's, it is like a... There's, there's truth to every meme. Do you understand, chat? I just don't think it's a... I just... I mean, do you know what? Hey! Totally. Do you know what? The game's safe, guys. They're fixed. The path of XL. 
Let's fucking go, baby. Let's fucking go. The game's easy. Ash Nemesis has been deleted from the game, boys. Let's go! Fuck yeah! Fuck Ash Nemesis, bitch! That just sucked anyway, man. Yeah, boy! Pee-wee's fucking saved! That's what I'm talking about, bitch! Fuck he is. God damn, damn. God damn. God damn.